G'day legends. In this video, we're gonna talk about playing through the leg side off the front foot. Now this is one of the most common problems we see with young players or, or cricketers of any level for that matter, is struggling when the ball's straight. Now they either get LBW, because their leg's in the way, or they hit the ball in the air, and they leg, the very best players score lots through the leg side. When the bowler bowls too straight, they hurt them. They're good off their legs. And there's a few reasons for that. There's a few technical fundamentals you have to understand have to be able to do to be able to score through the leg side. Now scoring through the leg side is so good and so beneficial because generally there's less fielders on the leg side than the offside. So when there's less fielders, there's more space, there's more gaps and you can score, you can maximize your runs through the leg side. So the first and most important thing when scoring through the leg side is that your head is nice and still at release and you're not falling over. As I've spoken about it in previous videos, if your head falls over too far outside off, your foot then has to land and then anything that's straight, you're sort of blocking yourself off and your leg is in the way of your bat. So the, one of the most important things when sort of playing through leg side is your head still. Then it's about keeping our leg out of the way. When you get hit in the pad or you hit the ball in the air, generally the reason is your leg gets in the way and that's either because you've stepped across because of your head or you've taken too big a step and then you can't hit the ball with a straight bat. Your leg is in the way of you hitting the ball with a straight bat. So you have to play around your front pad, is what we call it, playing around your front pad. You, can't no long, you, you cannot no longer swing with a straight bat to the ball. And we always want to be trying to go in straight lines from the top of your back lift to the ball is the most efficient way to swing your bat. So we're trying to swing in straight lines. So getting your leg in the way blocks off that straight line. So the, one of the most important things after we've got our head nice and still is to take a nice short step when the ball's straight. What that allows us to do with a short step is allows us to get our head and our weight forward and then swing the bat through with a nice full face. Now, as always, we're big believers here at Cricket Mentoring of leading to the ball with your upper body, leading to the ball with your head, not leading to the ball with your foot. So although I'm talking about a short step, it's your head that has to go at the ball, it's your head that has to lead at the ball. Then you take a nice short step with your head out in front, knees slightly bent, and then you're hitting with a, a strong top hand, your top side dominates 80 or 90% of the swing. And then wherever you want to hit the ball, your bottom hand just comes in at the last second. Okay, you watch the very best players through the leg side, they'll get in a nice position, back comes through straight, and then they just close their bat face or roll their wrist slightly at the very end of the swing or just at their contact point to manipulate the ball into the gap, okay? The best players through the leg side, they can hit the same ball anywhere from back down the ground through to square leg based on when they bring their bottom hand in. If they want to hit straight, their top hand stays stronger through the whole shot, they want to hit squarer, their bottom hand comes in a little bit earlier. But the danger with this is that you turn your bat face too early and you also get a leading edge. So you really want to be dominant with your top hand and your top side. Bottom hand comes in late and you're sort of trying to contact the ball with a nice wide surface, a nice full face, and then you're just rolling the ball into the gap. You're not flicking it, you're not turning your wrist too early, but that's so hard to do, it's so impossible to do when your leg's in the way. So keys here guys, to recap, head still so you can get your head and weight in the ball. Head and front upper body leads into the shot. You take a nice short step, creating the space you need for your bat swing. If your leg's there, there's no space. And then trying to dominate the swing with your top side, your bottom hand just comes in at the end to roll your wrist and hit the ball into the gap. If you can tick off all of those things, you're gonna score lots and lots of runs through the leg side. And hopefully, for some of you people watching this, stop some dismissals. Because like I say, this should be an area you score lots of runs and certainly don't get out. So get your head right, get your shape right and your step right, and hopefully the leg side becomes one of your strengths. So take something out of that that works for you, go and give it a try. Like everything, start with some underarms. Don't try this against bowlers or fast stuff. Just start with the basics, lots of underarms, really trying to get your head forward, keep your leg out of the way, try and hit the ball to different areas and see how it feels. So I hope you've enjoyed this video.